Hey everyone, welcome back to the Simple Dad YouTube channel, your go-to place for helpful Samsung tips, tricks, and hidden features that make your Galaxy device even smarter. So today we're diving into seven mysterious and powerful Galaxy features. Some are part of One UI 7 and others are exclusive to One UI 8, Samsung's latest software update. So these tools will help you track mysterious sounds, organize your life better, enhance multitasking, and unlock the full potential of Galaxy AI. So sit back, relax, let's uncover some hidden gems in your Samsung Galaxy. So our goal for today is 500 likes on this video. So don't forget to tap that like button, share that video and subscribe to The Simple Dad for more awesome Samsung content every day. So feature number one is how to know the source of those mysterious sound on your Samsung Galaxy device. So have you ever heard a random sound from your phone, maybe a notification or a vibration, but you couldn't figure out which app caused it? So that's where a module from GoodLock called Nice Catch comes in. So this powerful good luck module lets you track down every vibration, toast message, and sound notification that your phone makes. So you can open up Nice Catch and view a detailed log of which app made that sound, when it happened, and even what kind of alert it was. So let me show you how to set this up and how to see this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up your good luck app. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Nice Catch. Tap on this, go ahead and turn this feature on. And now as you can see, it's the sound history, go ahead and turn this feature on. So this shows a list of applications that's made sound. So say for example, if WhatsApp made the sound, it'll basically show you WhatsApp here. If say for example, a random app will give you a notification, but you didn't know where this notification comes from. So as we speak, AliExpress has just made some notification. So it made a sound. So this was a notification. The next one is my Eufy camera here. So like this, this will monitor the sound coming out from your Samsung Galaxy device and will track the source of that sound. So this identifies app causing random sounds or vibration. You can catch background notification from hidden or misbehaving apps. And this maintains a full control over the phone's alert and privacy. Feature number two is a new gallery assistant tool. So Samsung is stepping up its photo game with all new gallery assistant app. So this is an exclusive One UI 8 feature that's currently rolling out first in South Korea and will slowly become available in other regions worldwide. This isn't just a simple gallery tool, it's a smart companion for managing and optimizing photos in bulk. So gallery assistants will let you reduce image size, rotate and flip images, clip images, add custom watermarks and compare images side by side. And best of all, you can do many of these actions in batches. Basically, it's saving you time. So here, I'll just go ahead and show you what the app looks like. So this is the Gallery Assistant app. Unfortunately, you won't find this in the Galaxy Store or in the Play Store. You need to go ahead and sideload it to your Samsung Galaxy device. So I've left a link in the description down below. You can go ahead and download this and install it onto your phone. So when you go ahead and open up Gallery Assistant, you'll see that it looks like this. So as you can see, you have reduce size, rotate and flip, image clipper, add watermark, compare images, save as PDF and print. So here we'll go ahead and just try it out and we'll tap on the plus sign. We'll go ahead and take some images. So let's just say three images, which I've chosen here, press done. Now I want to go ahead and reduce the size. So you can go ahead and reduce the size. So it's currently 0.84 MB, all three of them together. If you go ahead and reduce it, it'll reduce it to 0.25. Once you're happy, press save and that'll reduce the file. Let's go ahead and rotate and flip. So you can go ahead and rotate these all at once. You can flip them as well and you can straighten them. I won't save it for now. Image clipper. This will basically look at all the images and we'll clip the subject from it. So as you can see, it's already clipped it. If I press save, I'll save it as an image. Go to view it. So as you can see, these have already clipped all those images for me. I've got add watermark. So I can add watermarks to these. I can choose a frame or an overlay. I can go ahead and compare those images. So I have three images, so I can go ahead and compare them. I can delete them, like them or share them. And then I can go ahead and save this as PDF as well. So this way you're speeding up your editing workflow with batch tools. It saves time while keeping your photo sharp and it adds a professional touch like watermarks directly from the app. And this is perfect for creators, photographers, and anyone managing lots of images. Feature number three is your post-it notes in Samsung Notes. So in One UI 7 and 8, Samsung Notes now lets you create digital post-it notes directly on your device. So this is perfect for jotting quick ideas, 
grocery list or reminders and they sync seamlessly with your Samsung account. So here we'll go ahead and open up Samsung Notes. Let's go ahead and create a new note. Now this is Samsung Note. However, you can go ahead and add a post-it note on top of it. So if you tap on the plus sign here, go ahead and choose sticky note. Now here you can go ahead and write your sticky note. Now you can go ahead and choose all your different colors for your sticky notes. Now once you're done, press back. And this will basically become an icon here. You can leave it expanded as you like, or you can minimize it. It's up, completely up to you. So you can keep your thoughts and reminders organized visually. You can color code notes for better prioritization, and you can sync across all the Galaxy devices so your idea travels with you. Feature number four is your new AI Select, which helps you clip images from the web. So the new AI Select tool, part of the One UI 8, makes saving images from the web a breeze. So you can basically simply press and hold on an image in your browser and Samsung's AI intelligently clips it, removes the background and lets you save or share it instantly. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome and I've just basically searched for models. So let's go ahead and search for a model which you wanna clip. So let's just say, for example, this person here. Now I just want to go ahead and clip this person. I don't want the background. So in order to do this, I'll go ahead and bring out the AI select. Now I can go ahead and create a box. As you can see, it's already selected for me. Now I can go ahead and long press on the model. So as you can see, it's clipped the model only and it's removed the background for me. Now I can go ahead and save this as a sticker. I can go ahead and pin this copy it, share it, or even save it as an image. So let's just go ahead and pin it. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, it's been pinned. If I press home, now the image is right here. I can go ahead and download this as well, or I can just go ahead and minimize this. Okay, if I download this, this will be downloaded into my gallery. As you can see, it's been downloaded in my gallery. So like this, I can easily create transparent PNGs for memes, collages, or work. AI automatically detects the subject, no manual editing needed. You can save time when designing, creating, or sharing visuals on your Samsung Galaxy device. Feature number five is where you can keep your screen on while viewing. So this simple yet brilliant feature keeps your screen awake as long as you're looking at it. So thanks to your front camera and your smart AI detection, your screen will always stay on. So here you can go ahead and use this on maybe while you're watching YouTube. So if you're watching a long YouTube video, your phone will basically try to save battery and hence it'll basically try to dim the screen. However, your front camera can detect your eyes looking at the screen and due to that, it'll basically keep your screen awake as long as you keep looking at it. So let me show you how you can turn this feature on. So here you go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings. You wanna go ahead and scroll down, find display. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find screen timeout. And now from here, you wanna find this setting, keep screen on while viewing. So this will keep the screen on while you're looking at it. So using the front camera, it'll basically detect your face. So turn the feature on. So now whenever you look at a YouTube video or any Netflix video on your phone, as long as you're looking at the screen, your camera will detect your face and it'll basically keep the screen on. So this prevents your screen from dimming during reading or videos. It saves battery compared to setting long screen timeouts and it enhances the comfort during long browsing or document sessions. Feature number six is where you can swipe for pop-up view. So you can multitask like a pro. So with a swipe for a pop-up view, you can quickly turn any app into a floating window by simply swiping down from the top corner left or right. So this is perfect for replying to messages while watching a video or checking notes without closing your main app. So here we'll go ahead and open up YouTube. And now say for example, I wanna go ahead and open this in pop-up view. So in order to do this, I can go ahead and swipe from the top right and then go ahead and choose my window size, leave my button here. And as you can see, this is now opened in pop-up view. So I can go ahead and browse through these videos while doing something else like looking at gallery, replying to messages on WhatsApp or on messages. So this way you have instant multitasking without switching screens. You can resize, minimize, or drag the app anywhere. And this boosts productivity with fast app access. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can turn on the top toolbar for multi-window in pop-up view.
So if you love multitasking, this One UI 8 feature is a must try. So when using apps in pop-up view, you can enable a top toolbar that gives you quick access to split screen, minimize, maximize, or even the pin functions. So it makes handling multiple apps feel smoother and more PC-like. So as you can see, currently by default, you don't see a top toolbar. You will just see this short tab, which basically can take to move the screen around. If you tap on it, you'll see your toolbar. So this is like a floating toolbar. So for some of you who are new to multitasking on the Samsung Galaxy device, we need to go ahead and tap on this top toolbar here. You'll get this floating toolbar. However, there's not enough tool. So if you go ahead and swipe to the left, you'll see this extra button here, which will basically enable the top toolbar. So if you go ahead and tap on this, you'll see the top toolbar. So here you'll be able to see other options. So you can go ahead and turn this into split screen mode. You can minimize it, maximize it, or close it. So it basically gives you quick access to all those functions like minimize, maximize, pin, and so on. So you have faster window management for multitasking pros. You have a cleaner and easy control of their pop-up windows. And it's more like a desktop style experience on your Samsung Galaxy device or tablet. And that's it folks, seven powerful Samsung Galaxy features that make your device smarter, smoother, and way more efficient. Some of these tools are from One UI 7 and some are exclusive to One UI 8. So make sure you are updated to enjoy them all. So if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. Let's reach our goal of 500 likes and don't forget to subscribe to The Simple Dad for more Samsung secrets and everyday tech tips. Also, don't forget to drop a comment below which one of these features do you love the most or you're having trouble with. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.